Hey there folks and welcome back to Solar City Garage. Alright, out on the bench here, excuse my mess on the bench, we have our harvested 26 27 transmission. Now the ring gear is bad on it. You can see it sat in some water, you know, the magnet screws or a couple are broken and stuff. But what we're hoping to salvage is at least the drive plate and the brake drum to change over and put into our other uh, transmission. So let's get started on taking this apart. I've never taken one apart before, but I did educate myself a little bit on it. So first we're going to get rid of the safety wire on these bolts. It is good and grimy and oily. That's a good thing. Of course we want to add a little water in here. So we'll get this safety wire pulled out of here. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing there. Safety wired in pairs. Like that. We try to keep track of all these little pieces of safety wire. Even though everything is going to get cleaned and thoroughly inspected. You just don't need these extra little pieces hanging out in the transmission, especially in the one that you're going to use the magnets on. So, alright, I think these are 916. We're going to cheat, use an air tool, a little 3 8 drive. A little 3 8 drive air impact. We'll take these bolts out. As you can see, they're a special bolt. They've got a shoulder on them. I guess you can probably see that little shoulder. There we go. Six of them. Like so. And like so. And you can see the plate come up. Got a hose that likes to hiss, so we will unhook it. So, you can see the plate come up a little bit. We're going to give a little tap. crap stuck in around here. <clears throat> Let me get a screwdriver. Again we're hoping to reuse And it does. Ha <laughs> ha. See there? But you never want to force anything. So, bunch of crud. But at least the bushing is still there. All right. So, as you can see, here is our pressure plate. So, it's got a little oil on it. So, that's good. This is what the pressure plate looks like. Still nice and shiny. They have to be cleaned up. Now I'm going to grab a magnet and get out the clutch discs. I 
Okay, maybe. Oh, I didn't watch enough videos, apparently. All right, we'll just keep trying here. There we go. Like I say, it's kind of gummed up. There's two clutch discs at once. Three, actually. Look at there. They don't look that bad. So, we're just going to keep moving those out. There's three of those. Reach under here and grab some more. There's four more. You know, they've been warm, but not, not bad. Let's grab some more here. I guess it really doesn't hurt anything to grab more than just however many you can get out of there, I guess. big old stack there. One, two, three, well, it's quite a few. But they're all looking about the same. So we'll keep going until we get down to the bottom. There's lots of goop in here. But that's good. Goop keeps it from rusting. Okay. All right, another big stack. They all look about the same. Okay. And I think we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. So kind of what I can see. Yep, and there's the final one. You can see the final one because it doesn't slip. It just rides down there on the casting. So good. All right, clutches are out. Next, we need to remove down in here is a cotter key. Pull out, toss that in the trash too. Then we've got a set screw. Okay, so there's the holes. Oh, don't mind me, folks. Sometimes you just gotta talk yourself. It takes a 7 16 wrench. Really shouldn't be that tight. Sure is gooey down in here. Never fails, the neighbor's mowing lawn. So you see that bolt, it's got a little point on it. So we'll put that in our box. And I don't have the official Ford puller. So let me see what I can round up. All right, all right, be back in a minute. All right, we'll try her again. Different uh, approach, same tool, little modification. I will definitely buy the right tool for the future.
that down. have the masses in them? Probably not. Better knock that key out of there. Oof. All right. This is a big key, okay? Half moon key. That was stuck down in there pretty darn hard. So there should be some shims here. Yep. Stack of three. Those could be different because of different heights. Somewhere, some of you are going, What are you doing? Huh. 
grilling pad to clear out. Stuck on the triple gears, I guess. There we go. Woo! All right. I don't know if you can see the puller setup I have going here. We're going to just try it a little bit. It needs a little bigger impact. here was, are supposed to separate as well but you can see it's going to let them soak instead of hurting them so there'd be a low and a reverse this right here is the critter we were after got a little staining on it from rust Got the replaceable shoes, so we will get her cleaned up and see what we can do with her. We might be able to save her. All right, that's enough for now. All right, thanks for watching.